Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Alright, so last episode was a backtracking episode that didn't really do much, but we are back to B4. The southern half's been covered, let's now deal with the northern half. First things first, we need to go all the way to the northwestern part of this room. Hmm, I could probably do this. In which case, I'll just train the arrow spell a little more, since that would be nice to do. I do need to train Berserk as well, but that'll come in time. I figure if I train this spell, it would be nice to have for the enemies that actually are of, of importance that are weak to it. And, uh, even though there are only four in the game that are weak to it, it's a situational spell that is, well, pretty nice to have. Of course, the others are much better for different reasons, but you know what? Who cares? As long as it works out, it works out. Hmm. Well, one thing's for sure, Fury is going to be getting some HP out of this. 72? Oh shit, if I knew that was going to happen... I just want to make sure that I get a successful run here with the uh, arrows. There it goes. Okay. I didn't think it had that much HP left. They only have 300. I should have this one. At least I think so. No, not yet. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess I get one more good chance at Arrow. And that's what kills it. <laughs> well then. Vitality HP for Furion, and that's it. All right. Speaking of here, and let's get him level. Let's get him back up to. All right, that's fine for now. So what we need to do is head for the northwest corner, which has the stairs. Make your way to them, and uh -oh. another set of two tusks. Well, uh, I can do this, I guess. Just keep on training, Arrow. Let's do that. Yeah, two of them I can do, one of them's definitely fine. Any more than that, I'm probably just gonna run. Because these things probably take enough time as it is. Let's go ahead and poison away the other one. I figured Guy will actually take out this bottom tusk, which is why I moved up. And I'm just waiting for the... Yep, I figured. Critical. I think even without the critical, I think Guy would have taken it out if he hit everything. And one final arrow chance, which is good. Sadly, it's not the killing blow this time. That's a shame. There it goes. At least arrow's being put to work, that's for sure. Vitality, intelligence down, power up. Power up and spear level up. Well then. Alright, um, works out for me. Let's head down the stairs, and we have this lone chest and this tiny alcove. Inside is a death god. 
I did pick one of these up near the end of last episode. What it does is cause Fear 10 on all enemies. Fear is actually situationally better in this game because even if enemies run away, you can still gain stat boosts. It's not as good in the first game because you actually need the experience points to level up. The only thing you really lose with fear in this game is potential item drops. Okay, it's just these red things, which means it's all bolt time. Bolt 5? Bolt 2? Actually, well, no, no, it's just these. Just run bolt. So let's not be dumb here. Yeah, if there were a couple of yellow ones, I'd change things up a little bit, but alas, that's not the case here. Works for me! Alright, so what's in this chest? A mere 1,000 gil. By this point, it's probably chump change if you've been fighting enemies. Alright, so I think I'm near 50 grand at this point. Well, I did say any more than two meant a run, and that's exactly what I meant. Let's get the hell out of this. Now we reach B5, and there's the final chest of the island, containing a sleep tome. Which is fine. All that's left now is to go into the water, and enter the middle passage where this door is. Two toads. Well, I can deal with this with relative ease. Um... Heck, I'm pretty sure I can just run, uh... Yeah, I'll just do arrow castings on this one. I'll let Guy use Ice 4 on the top one. <laughs> 2 HP! It's alive by 2 HP! God damn it! And guy got poisoned, which means I have to try to run the heal spell. Fantastic. I'm gonna let, uh... I'll let Maria run the arrow spell on that one, because that should finish it off. I'll try to heal through this. What the hell? Miss. Alright, please work. Holy shit, it actually worked! Unreal. This is a bad sign, isn't it? And Layla actually did some damage to an enemy. With her sword. Insanity. I did not get poisoned. That was actually a good round. Quite surprising, really. Vitality up and HP up, and a potion. Well, at least I can use it. Inside here is what we're looking for. Before I do anything, let's go ahead and use those potions. I mean, they're just going to be wasting inventory space. I'll give one to Virion. Now we need to run magic. Uh, heal's not it. Alright, that cat's Virion out. I'll leave it at that. I'll let Virion finish this off. He's almost to cure two anyway. Two points doesn't make a difference. You know what, just so I do get cure two. There we go. And that's that. I'm gonna stay as is because unlike the other enemies, this boss really isn't as bad as what we faced up to this point. It's the Big Horn, Guardian of the Black Mass. I did mean what I said about that. It's only 50 attack and defense overall, so... 
It's not as bad as the Gigas in terms of defense, and nowhere near at in terms of offensive power, but it does still carry the highest HP we've faced out of any enemy in the game so far at 1,140. There are no weaknesses, so this is a case of just bash this guy down however you please. In my case, I'm just gonna go with what damages the most, with Bolt 5. I will cast Berserk 3 on Guy, I'll let Guy attack, and Bolt 3 because that's the only way she's gonna be able to damage this one. 120 to start things off, not bad. That puts it down under a thousand. Yes, it does hit pretty hard, uh, up to four hits for a fair amount of damage, but as long as you're in good shape, don't worry about it. Bolt 5. I'm gonna run Fire 4 here instead of running Arrow. Realistically, that'd be a better call anyway. Just do all the damage. Because the sooner this goes down, the less chance you have of getting KO'd. And so far, that plan's working. Bolt 5. <clears throat> Fire 4. I think I can do better than Ice at this point. With that Berserk. I could give it a roll, though, but... I'm not gonna worry about it right now. One hit for 47 against him. And there it goes! See, that was easy as can be. Fury got magic power up, vitality and HP from Maria, Layla got all that cool stuff. And that's about it. So that was the big horn, and we got what we came for in the Black Pass. Now it is optional to get it this early, because I haven't even reached Dice, which is our next actual destination. But, uh, it is best to get it early, because you will have to come here later on. With that said, I'm just gonna take the teleporter, because we're 12 and a half minutes. Also, Bill Zombies could board. Um, just fight this one. Fire 4, nuke this one, and let the others attack it. The main reason for doing this is because it does take a little time to get to Dice in the first place. We are in the right direction for it, because we did have to go out to the Outer Sea. Alright, in this case, it's just one target. I can train Arrow. Wow, are you serious? Well, that sucks. Like, really? Okay. Uh, thank- Great time for life. Yeah, I hope I didn't have to do that, but, uh, I mean, we were right there. I may as well just take the KO and be done with it. Chris, that was right after the boss, too. Damn you. Fucking game. Alright, so we're out of the teleporter. Let's head out. And I'll just run a little closer to Salaman at this point. And that'll allow us to reach uh, what we need to do. Land like right there. Yeah, Chris, I could have went more south. Goblins! Goblins everywhere, and Layla's in the back row. I'll just bolt. Yeah, I should probably throw her back into the front row. Yeah, if you KO'd, you'll end up in the back row. Um, the, I've always had everybody in the front row up to this point for a good reason, and that reason is 
If you're in the back row, you can only take damage from certain types of attacks. And you really need the HP. Because the only weapon you can actually use effectively in the back row is the bug. Which I don't use. Get back up here. So everybody's been on the front row, kind of on purpose. At this point, I can just trade magic. But yeah, it kind of stinks I got my first KO right there, but you know what? We've done... we've come quite a ways since, uh, the start of the game without a KO. So, honestly, good on me. Hey look, the goblins are doing what they should. Getting out of my face. What are you still doing here? Eat a duck dick. Okay, I'm glad the arrow actually cast it there because otherwise I'd have been a little sad. Speaking of arrow, where is that thing at in terms of power? 92. 93 for fire. <laughs> Shit. What about, uh, 81 on ice? And... 9 on fire. Ah, uh, that doesn't surprise me. And we're finally back! Now that the job is done. 53,000 gil. Holy crap. Alright, I'll set my items up a little bit before I do anything else. Because that black mask needs to be... It's a key item. So I'll just send it right there. Alright, before we do anything, let's move on up here. Let's sell the crap we don't need. I really don't need the Death Gods, really, because fear, fear is fine, but I'm not going to need it. I want to fight enemies. So 4,000 gil it is. Likewise for sleep, don't really need it. I can keep the grass, I guess. Um, there's another one. Everybody else is just kind of there. I'm not worried, not at all. So we'll head down here, and let's make our way to Dice, which all we really need to do to get to it is simply sail around the snow. Field. Honestly, that's the only thing we need to do, is run to the snowfield. As long as we get into the sea enemies, we should be good to go. Because we'll deal with the tougher stuff, rather than garbage at this point. Speaking of garbage, imagine having this crap. Bolt 5. Arrow. Attack and attack. Okay, Varian needs to do his job. Surprised that uh, the Queen Bee didn't get one shot. Then again, it is just level one. If it was level two, that'd be a different story. And of course, Bolt just destroys all of these Horrors because they only have six freaking HP, which is a laughing stock at this point. Get out and get out of my sight. Oh, yeah, potion. Something I can use. Alright, so all we need to do, as I said, is just simply sail around the entire snowfield. And. Oh my god! <laughs> That's awful. But fortunately, Furion can one-shot one of these things. Everybody else can uh, just attack one. Sea snakes really are the worst encounter of the uh, sea here. So, 
This is a yikes and a half. Wonder if, uh... Not quite. They have 300 HP. Of course, I'm just running arrow just to charge it up. I'll just arrow this one. And should be good there. 11 damage. I'm pretty sure there might be resistance to it, but you know what? I don't really care, considering I do need to trade it. Alright, there goes one. Oh, great. Poison. Arrow. Heal two. One period. And I'll just pull through here. Yeah, they have to resist it to poison. And there is the level up that I've been looking for. About time. Alright, heal. Get that up. There we go. Sail all the way through. There's the top end of the snowfield, and there's a lot of weird crap here. Bolt 5, blast the snake out of the abyss. I may as well try to get fire up to 5 too, so I'll do that. I'll let Guy do the same thing. I'll run Bolt 3 on the fish. I may as well try to get it up. Now, likewise, just bolt again. Fire. Ice. And I'll just attack here. I mean, all Layla has is bolt anyway. Ouch. Alright, well, hopefully that'll gain some HP. And that gets rid of the eagle. Vitality up, and that's really it. Alright, no problem. It does cause HP boosts, if I remember it right. I'm gonna run down here. Right around this point, there's what we need. This is diced. There's the cavern. I just need to go all the way down to this area. Right, right in the middle here is fine. I gotta walk all the way around and reach the marsh. In which case, oh. Uh, Scalactites. These are one of four enemies in the game that are weak to poison. Go nuts! I also have about 240 HP and a fair amount of defense, so I'll probably take one at a time here for now. Floating rocks, though. Look at that! It's weak to poison! Holy shit! The perfect fight for this. They have 240 HP, so sadly that didn't work. Arrow 3 might do it, though. There goes that one. Okay, so since this one's already damaged enough, I'll let Guy take care of it. Arrow. There we go. That should that should be how it works. Because I think Guy will do enough damage to actually break through its defense. In which case, 168. She's just getting weaker. 
crap, 25 minutes. I just noticed the time. Oh, shit. Okay, um, no big deal, no big deal. I just, I lost track of time. Whoops. That's what I get for not looking at my stopwatch so many times. Shield up, agility, and HP. And I'm just gonna cut this here. Uh, we'll continue on to dice and cover everything next episode. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.